Good morning. It is literally like 11, but this is pretty early for me since I go to bed pretty late. I'm really trying to wake up, wake up, like get out of bed, but it appears to be more difficult than I anticipated. Cue my morning montage. Ooh. Usually what I'll do after I wake up is brush my teeth and wash my face, of course, and then journal, but it's really cold and I just changed into sweats, so I'm going to journal first while I warm up and then do my whole morning face everything routine. cutest outfit but I'm going to work out now I'm working out fasted which means that I haven't eaten yet it's about like 12 30 right now and usually I'll eat at 1 but I am gonna push that a little back because I can <laughs> and it's also like beneficial to work out fasted I hate working out fasted, but I might as well just get it over with. I want to try starting to do my workouts in the beginning of the day just so I get it out of the way because a lot of times I'll work out at night. I love night workouts, don't get me wrong, but in terms of helping me fall asleep and building momentum for my day, I think it's best I try to start in the beginning of the day. We'll see how it goes. I'll try it out for like maybe a week. This outfit is not so cute, but it does the job because it's really cold outside. It's 45 degrees, and on top of that, it's like really windy today, and I hate wind. Gotta tough it out because the Roni, I can't go to the gym. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm fucking gonna be a show like nah, then let's do it. <laughs> Your fucking hair looks stupid. <laughs> Dumb. Dumb, dumb. Okay, and you need a haircut. They're too easy. He goes, ah, that's David. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna be even happy until you torture my entire family, are you? Did you call me sister? Go right ahead. I love my. It ran in my family, I think. Uh, not in my family. <laughs> <laughs> big, big headphones on. I'm still calling. Heroes falling. Natalie, I am so lethargic. 
magic could this be seasonal depression on top of my depression and these hiccups are killing me I was gonna vlog me doing these things but then my friend called because she needed my advice but what I just did is I returned something at the UPS and now I'm at the USPS because I sold some stuff on Poshmark. I should really sell my clothes on other applications as well. Right now I only do Poshmark and it's been steady, you know, it, it's been good. I've been selling clothes for a while now, maybe two years three years two years it's a great like side thing to have especially because i have so many clothes and i really they're all in such great condition and i want to get rid of them if if you just throw away your clothes first of all stop that because one you could be making money off of it and two you could be donating it i don't know if that was me stating the obvious but just in case you guys weren't aware of that there you go okay so my desk for my room came so i gotta somehow bring that all the way up and yeah, wish me luck. This was not a good idea. Also, I just want to say that this Amazon shipping quality was totally not good. My box is ripped. Oh my god, oh my god. This shit was heavy. Okay, but let me tell you about what I was talking about with Amazon's delivery. Like, look, this is how it came. It's literally open, and then on this bottom, the bottom's like that too. Like, this is totally open right now. Delivery experience, not good. Hopefully, nothing's actually damaged. a work in progress I'm so happy to be like one step closer this is really heavy because it's metal Ugh. good thing I lift oh my god she is beautiful wow first impressions she's everything I wanted and more she's beautiful and I'm really hyped that it seems like it's not gonna you know, be that much of a setup. I'm just so excited to have a desk. I needed one for so long. Like my setup, I was, I've been literally working on my bed. I have a small stool next to my bed and I'll sit on the stool and then like my table will be the bed. So I'm just excited that this is here. <sighs> I wouldn't say that I'm like a handyman or a handy woman, but no, I'll say that I'm a handy woman. I love building things. I love fixing things. I think it's super fun. I don't know why. So I'm very excited to do this but it seems a bit easy. Um, not that that's a bad thing. It's been what, like two months since I painted my room and Ikea is still sold out of all their furniture that I need and I check it constantly. I'm signed up for text notifications, email notifications, if these things ever come back in stock and it just never has been. So I'm really glad I found this desk um, from Amazon. Amazon selection is definitely smaller and then there's also a specific type of desk I'm looking for. I want it to be super basic. I want it to be all white and I want the top to be wooden. I don't want like weird storage. I just needed a desk. I'm tired of working on my bed. <laughs> y'all the desk is set up and i feel great i hate going downstairs to work at the kitchen table or the dining room because there's just too much noise my dogs are barking my parents work there as well so this is just i'm happy to have my own space and i just feel like 
a piece. If you haven't watched my room makeover video, please go check that out. But I just wanna say that this room transformation means a lot more to me than you guys probably assume. I've been going through a lot of issues with mental health this year and being at home is not the best environment for me. And seeing this physical change in my childhood room was really, really good for me. And I genuinely am really happy with my room. Like when I wake up, I'm happy to see it. I'm happy to keep it clean. I'm happy to just like be proactive. It's also given me something to work towards and think of because I've been thinking of how I want my room to look like, what additions I need. It's just been one thing that's been helping me even if it is in the slightest. Our mental health is very important and I have just been really focusing on that as of lately, which is also why I've been posting more on YouTube because it's just a creative outlet that I really appreciate. I started this YouTube channel because I loved creating things and because I love marketing. I love social media marketing. And I stopped because being on YouTube is very vulnerable. Being on social media is very vulnerable. And I just really wasn't in this mindset to be vulnerable. I wasn't confident enough. I lost my confidence somewhere. I think it's because I was starting to graduate. I didn't really have my life, you know, set up. And now I, you know, fell into this pit of nothingness because of post-grad, because of COVID. And now I'm slowly, you know, crawling out of it. And I'm finding dance again. I'm finding art. I'm finding YouTube. I'm finding, you know, creating my dream space. So I'm happy to say that I am making improvements in the right direction. I just wanted to share with you guys a little on why this whole process means so much to me and also why I've been back on YouTube so prominently and yeah. Hey, from my new desk, what's going on? Anyways, I am filming this because I never filmed an outro and this is me filming the outro. Welcome to the outro. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next. Cheers.